I have two stories about haunted cars, one of which I have already told. However, this story is even more bizarre, in that I can only conclude that the car itself was possessed. I think it would be safe to say that many drivers develop a bond with their trustworthy car. However, on rare occasions, an otherwise sedate mode of transport appears to be somehow something else. After having their previous trustworthy car for around 13 years, wear and tear was getting the better of it, and so Mr and Mrs Turner felt that there was no alternative but to update their mode of transport. Following an abundance of research to find a suitable car, Mr and Mrs Turner finally settled on a Volkswagen Passat estate and so began their search for the right one. After narrowing it down, Mr and Mrs Turner felt that they had found the perfect car and Mr Turner went to see the car and agreed to purchase it. When the couple arrived at the dealers to take the car home with them, Mrs Turner felt immediately that there was something wrong. Not just that it was much smaller than their previous vehicle, but something else that she couldn't quite put her finger on. When they inspected the car, Mr and Mrs Turner noticed that there was a large chunk gouged out of one of the rear tyres and the rear silver trim was missing. This was quite unexpected, but despite this the couple went ahead with the purchase, provided the problems were fixed. As they drove away in their new car, a warning light came on almost immediately, saying that there was a problem with the tyres. Mr and Mrs Turner were not happy that their new car was exhibiting problems only a couple of miles away from the dealer. However, they pulled over to the nearest petrol station and pumped up the tyres before going home. After arriving home, somehow the car seemed to take on a life of its own. The car would often dial Gary or Charlotte, desperate to get in touch with them as the perplexed new owners watched and listened on. On one occasion when their son was waiting for them in the car on a supermarket car park, the radio switched itself on and played a Dolly Parton track. The last straw was when the car refused to unlock, even with the emergency key, leaving the couple stranded in Inverness. Despite the strange, unexplainable occurrences with the car, Mr and Mrs Turner gave it the benefit of the doubt and held on to it for a few years. Then there was one inexplicable problem after another, followed by a catalogue of very costly repairs to a practically new car. After all things considered, and with little more than 23,000 miles on the clock, Mr and Mrs Turner decided to cut their losses and exchange the car for another more reliable car. However, the car wasn't going to let go of Mr and Mrs Turner easily. On its final journey it seemed as if the car did not want to go. When Mr Turner drove the car to the dealer it clunked, groaned, squeaked and creaked, making all sorts of sounds and noises that it had never made before. Then came the final straw. Both of the front tyres, which were brand new, suddenly went flat, meaning that Mr Turner had to pull over to pump them up. When finally back on the road, the car begrudgingly limped its way back to the dealer and a trade was finally made. Mr Turner did go on to tell me that the Passat remained for sale on the forecourt for a good couple of years before it was finally purchased. The last time he looked, Mr Turner noticed that the Passat was missing and presumed that it had finally been sold. Although I cannot tell you the registration of this car, 
I do wonder if the new owners have also experienced the wrath of this car. 